Hello everybody and welcome to this video. Um yeah I wanted to do a um full on glam today. I do not know why because it's not like we're going anywhere, it's just me, my boyfriend and my couch, but bring me the lashes, bring me the makeup, I am ready. I'm just going to jump right into the video because why not? And if you enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Oh, I need to stop doing that. Please give it a thumbs up, um, subscribe, leave a comment and yeah. Let's start applying makeup. Oh no, that's also something that I need to stop doing. I have noticed that I do so much of in my videos. It's a pain in the ass to edit because you have no idea in my last video how many of those I try to cut out. It's just like unconsciously I do it, but I need to get better at it. I'm going to start priming with the Painterly Paintball. I have no idea why I am doing a full glam makeup today because damn it, it is so hot. I don't know why it is already so warm, but it's like, it's going to be like 25 degrees today if I am correct. And I do not know why I thought it was a smart idea to wear like, first of all, white and second of all, a sweater because I am way too hot. So <sighs> these struggles. I can't. I absolutely can not. I am going to go and get changed and do something lighter because this feather. Whew, I'll be right back. Ah, oh, so much better. Light little airy dress. And now moving on to brows. This is a dirty blonde Mac pomade. I'm a little bit scared to do my brows because I did a um, DIY do-it-yourself thing kit for. Um, brow lamination and it worked great and since I have done that I have not filled in my brows because they were already so beautifully lifted I only ran through them with a little bit of like the benefit um, gimme brow because it tinted them and it was more than enough but I thought yeah full glam I need to do my brows so it has been a long time good enough i don't really want them i want this to be like more glam and all of that but i still want it to be natural i don't really want that painted on block brows so yeah this is this is how they're looking right now mm, could be better yeah but it's fine nobody's going to see me i'm at home all day okay then what are we going to do I'm going to take a little fluffy brush, the Morphe, uh, which one are you, M441. I'm going to end with the Dotty Beauty palette and take the matte shade of Poet. Just going to go straight in with the dark, plummy, pinky shade and see what it does for us. I'm just going to start packing it on the outer edge and bring it in. I do want this to be like a little bit more messily and like something that I would do when I want to look put together but I also do not have a lot of time to do like the perfect blending and all of that I wanted to do something fun like a pink tone but quick maybe hmm. hello I'm going to zoom you guys in <laughs> and it is better for you if this does work. And again, I am doing my eyes first so that I can blend out quite messily and then just clean it up before I start my base makeup. And so that I do also not have like struggling with fallout and all of that because Mm. Not today. Okay, I am just going to do one more thing. 
I'm going to take a little bit of the Born This Way concealer in the shade Snow and just try to cancel out that um, nice blueness that I have going on in there so that I can already do my lower lash line. Pretty. I am not the neatest person like when I have already done my lower lash line and I then have to do my base. I don't know why, but I always mess it up. Always. Better. Now I am looking super cute. I'm going to go in again with Poet on the other side. I'm going to dip the same brush in a little bit of um, the matte shade Aura. Just to go over, <clears throat> see I did it again, don't. Um, yeah, so a little bit of the matte aura just around the edges. Again with the poet shade. Just going to build that shade a little bit more right in here. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the matte poet with a little bit of the matte black, which is memory. A little dab of this, a little dab of this up here. And go into the outer corner. Just to deepen it up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take what's left on the brush and run it underneath. Again, with a little bit of that light aura shade around the edges. And I have only used two brushes for this look because, um, yeah. Again, when I do something quick and a little bit more messily, I just use like a few brushes and switch between them. And it's fun because they already have some um, pigment left in the brush so that when you go to blend and switch between colors, it, it matches. <laughs> now I am going to go in with my fingertips and like the metallic shade poet and I am going to apply it all over the lid all over and I'm actually taking it up pretty high I am going to zoom you guys in oh even a little more I am layering it to get it a little bit more intense and came out and shine, baby. I am even mm, going to go in with like that, um, what is this called? The sequin row of Poet and see if I can amp up the shimmer in a light way with that and otherwise I'm just going to go in with the glitter. I'm going to press this maybe a little bit more on the outer part to start with. back in with the metallic like now it's fun because i like i wanted to get like shimmery parts all over the lid so it doesn't matter that it's a bit in my crease and then the darker outer edge because now it is easy for me just to tweak and adjust the little things that i want i can now go in with the brush and darken it up blend it out just again it can all like blend into each other. I am repeating the exact same steps here. So a little bit of the sequin, a little bit of the uh, metallic. I'm actually going to take a little bit of a pencil brush 
take that metallic shade of Poet and run it underneath the lash line. A little bit of the shade Aura in the mat. <sighs> Am I going to put on a little bit of the glitter? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Why not? Just a itty bitty tiny little bit. Also, again, going to take that pink glitter because we're staying in the pink row. Very lightly. And even divide that also onto the tulips because I don't really want it to be super glittery. I just want it to be a little bit sparkly. And I am now debating something. If it would be fun to pop a little bit of the orange into uh, the inner corner for an inner highlight. Are we going to do that? I don't know. Okay. While I'm debating if I'm going to do that, I'm going to take my little liner brush and just a little bit of the black and outline my eyes just so that I have like a little little guideline to place my lashes down and as you can see I have some fallout but that's also because I packed on the shades heavily and messily that's all on me because I was really messy but that's the fun thing about doing your eyes first you can move quickly and don't really have to care that much just because you can like Whack it on! I don't know if... Mm, if I am going to pop on a little bit of that metallic orange, if I maybe should take... a little bit of a super bright orange from the James Charles palette and place it underneath so it has something to pop off. I'm going to try to do that. So I'm going to take a little bit of that super bright orange in his palette. I'm going to take it on my finger and just Okay, now I'm going to take a little brush Ooh, I think I'm going to like this. I saw... Um, what's her name again? Katie Jane Hugh? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correct. Do something like this with um, pink and an orange inner corner and I really liked it. And since I wanted to do a pink look, I just remembered it that she did that so yeah, why not try it? It's still completely different. Hers was so beautiful. And now, taking a little bit of that metallic in here. I don't know if it's going to be a mistake because it's pretty dark. Oh, damn, that's a little bit dark. A little bit too dark. Damn it. It is absolutely fine, we are just going to fix it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 now we're getting somewhere. Do not apply the, um, what is it, story metallic on top of the super bright orange. Apply like the super light aura metallic on top of it. That's better. And again, going in with a little bit of that orange because, uh, well, of all the trying, it got rubbed away a little bit. And I am taking it up a little bit to connect it with the pink and underneath the same story. And now again, taking a little bit of the Aura Metallic. Wow, this video is going to be so messy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. 
I'm going to leave it at this for now. I'm going to clean up the under eyes. Okay, so I cleaned up most of the fallout, even though glitter is a pain in the ass to get rid of. <laughs> yeah. Now, foundation. I have no idea which one I want to use. Just going to start off with back up backlight priming filter because uh, I want to look glowy. Okay, I think I am in the mood to mix foundations a little bit for coverage. Mark Jacobs, um, the remarkable foundation. This is in ivory medium. And then I may be going to mix it in with a little bit of the DR face and body and one CR. So mixing it all together. Ooh, I don't know if this is going to be a good match. Yeah, we shall see. I tried not to make too much foundation like in my concoction because half of the times I make um way too much and then it's all like for the trash so it's all used up i'm just buffing it in again i'm going to mix this foundation uh foundation concealer because it's a little bit too dark for me so i'm going to take the snow born this way concealer seriously why do they call it snow because this isn't snow so a little bit of that Mixed with a little bit of this super light um, Maybelline Super Stay um, concealer. It's in shade Ivory, which is way better for me. Going to take that on my little concealer brush and start applying it where I think I need some more. I do really like to switch between brushes, finger, hands, and I am blending things like this out to get a beautiful transition. Okay, so I did my under eyes and now just going to stamp a little bit more where I think I need some extra coverage. I like to press it on with that little brush and then just tap it out with my foundation brush. Okay, okay. I think I am going to go in with powder because all my um, cream bronzers and all of that stuff is pretty warm toned and I don't really want a super warmed bronzed look with this. So I'm going to take some loose powder, set underneath my eyes. Now I am going to take a little small contour brush and I'm going to take a little bit of mixture of this and this grey in the Cryolan Silhouette Jewel Finish Palette. I'm just very lightly like put it in there. This is just with the super light grey shade because I don't want to overdo it and I'm doing it with a big fluffy brush because I don't want it like too liney. It still needs to be natural even though nothing is natural about this look but... Okay and now I am going to take... What am I going to take? I don't know. Hmm. Bahama Mama by the Balm. Just a very little bit. Okay, for blusher I am going to take a little bit more of um, this cooler tone. This is called Peach Passion because you know me and my peach blushes. But if you see these two next to each other, this one is way more cool toned. So that's 
that's the one I'm going to be using today. Uh, I'm not going to blush too much, just a itty bitty little bit. And I'm taking it up almost to meet the eyeshadow that's like in this winged out shape. Okay, okay, okay. This is coming together little by little. Um, I'm going to take my uh, Mary Lou Luminizer by the ball. I must be honest, at the beginning of this look, I wasn't completely sure uh, when I was doing the eye part because, um, let's be honest, the eyes didn't look good at all with no um, base makeup done. I was like, is this the right decision? You know, but trust the process. Now I am going to apply some lashes, which I'm scared of because it has probably been around a month or three that I haven't applied any lashes, so... Okay, so I'm going to apply um, Lash Paradise, it's a new one, um, some lashes, which I'm going to show you later, and brow gel, and I'll be right back. These are some big ass lashes. <laughs> uh, these are the Tati lashes in TL3. Um, they are quite big. I am no longer used to wearing lashes. I am not quite sure if I like these big lashes. It's just like whew, I need to get used to them again. For lips, I have been thinking while I have been applying my lashes. Yes, yes, I have been thinking. And I keep leaning out of frame, but it's because my makeup is standing there and I am not the prepared kind of girl who lays it all down because my brain chooses the things that I want to do while I am busy like applying my makeup because I'm like, ooh, I can do this and ooh, maybe that. My lips have been pretty dry lately, so I thought I would uh, apply this Chunky Cherry Chubby Stick Lipstick Balm by Clinique because it's moisturizing. Yeah, just a super light layer, just dabbed it on. Not too much because the eyes are already quite a lot. Now I'm going to set it all in place with some all-nighter setting spray. And then, ladies and gentlemen, this is the finished product. But I really actually like the color combo of the orange and the pink. I didn't think I would like it that much, but like in the beginning when I was applying it, I didn't think I would like it that much. I was like, did I just ruin it? But it's growing on me. I like it. It's something fun. It's obviously not a super wearable look, but it's just me and my couch. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to zoom you guys in to show you what it looks like finished on the eyes. So yeah, this is the final look. Something completely different than my last video. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I really hope I see you in my next video. Bye.